Hi guys, welcome to Bad King and welcome to our basic training series. Now before we actually get started, let's first figure out what ZBrush actually is. Now probably the best way on that to explain ZBrush and its functionality is by comparing it to traditional clay sculpting. Now if you know how to get in there and start pinching clay, um, the concept of ZBrush is very very similar. Basically it allows us to, to jump into this digital canvas and start pulling and prodding um, our model very very quickly just like we would with uh, with actual traditional clay sculpting so we can get in here and start recreating our model with speed and this is one of the advantages of ZBrush is that it allows you to work very very quickly which is why it's so popular with many digital artists in the field so there's two universes that I like to uh, to like to cover in this series. There's a 3D universe that we exist in right now, which allows us to sort of move around and uh, and sculpt relatively quickly. Then there's the two and a half D universe. But in saying that, ZBrush also allows us to get in here and paint on our sculptures. So let's go ahead and hit Control Z a few times and uh, bring it back to the way it was. And as you can see here, um, it allows us to paint incredibly realistic textures. So we could get in here and really get all that detail in there and you know everything from little you know wrinkles to, uh, to the pores in the skin. It's incredibly powerful in that sense. So um, it also allows us to actually create hair and fiber um, elements to it as well. So we can give this guy a mustache or a beard and eyebrows and hair and so forth. And that's essentially what ZBrush is in a nutshell. So um, with that said, let's actually start this series and, uh, and let's have some fun.